Okay, today we're going to be modifying a Potomac ES100. I bought this kayak about six years ago on sale for about 200 bucks, and for the past three years it sat in storage, so I figured, fuck it, let's pull it out and do some modifications to it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is cut out the stern hatch, and yeah, fuck off, I know. Typically, you never want to cut this out. However, if you have any ability on the water, you should be fine. With that said, you do run the risk of losing your boat should it capsize. The stern is designed to trap air should you flip. By cutting out the stern hatch, you allow air to escape the kayak and fill with water and then sink. So, modifier beware. Now that the stern hatch has been cut out, we need to remove the foam and then take a file and we want to make sure we file down the edges going all the way around. After we're done filing, I'm going to go ahead and add some chrome trim to the inside just to make sure that I don't cut myself as I reach in. Now that the stern hatch is accessible, I'm going to add three 12 volt 9 watt lights to the front on each side. You can buy a pack of 10 lights on Amazon for $11.99. First thing we need to do is measure 12 inches from the front and then 18 inches from there. And then another 24 inches. Now that we have our measurements, we're ready to drill our holes. For the lights, we're going to be using a 3 8 inch drill bit. All right, once we have the holes drilled on one side, we're ready to flip the boat over and repeat the process on the other side. Now we need to file down the rough edges and before we add the lights, we need to make sure the holes will be watertight, so I'm using a JB water weld around the holes. You can purchase the water weld on eBay for $4.99 plus shipping. Once we have the holes framed with the water weld, we're set to add the lights. Thread the wire through the hole and be sure you don't over tighten the nut and strip the threading. This is important to ensure you get a watertight seal. With that said, remember we cut the stern hatch out so water will get into the boat, but we're trying to minimize this from happening. After the lights are added, we can remove the excess water weld for a more professional look. So now that the lights have been installed, we're ready to add a couple switches. We're going to drill two more holes using the same 3 8 inch drill bit. Once again, when the holes are drilled, we want to make sure we're filing down the rough edges so we get a flush mount. I purchased a 5 pack of 12 amp 125 volt switches on eBay for $7.90. So the switch on the left is going to work the exterior lights while the switch on the right is going to work a single light on the inside of the kayak for baiting your hook. Now that the switches have been added, we move to the GoPro mount. The mount is an aluminum mount purchased off eBay for $13.14. After the holes are marked, we're set to drill three more holes. As we add the mount, we'll be using the water weld again to ensure a watertight seal. As you bolt down the mount, you want to be sure to alternate between the two back screws to ensure you get a level mount. 
After the back screws are tightened, you can go ahead and tighten the front screw. We want to make sure that the second part of the mount has a proper fit. Now, just so the GoPro mount can be removed for transportation purposes, we're going to go ahead and hook up a waterproof connector. I purchased a pack of five two-wire connectors on Amazon for $6.49. For this kayak modification, we're going to use two of the connectors. One of the two wire connectors go on the back for the GoPro mount and the other one is for the battery. Now that we have our two wire connector hooked up, we'll drill a hole to run the wires through into the stern where the battery will be mounted. Once again, I'm going to be using the JB water weld to help seal the hole. Now this hole will not be watertight, however, the water weld will help ensure as little water enters the boat as possible. After testing the lights on the back mount, we're ready to set up the front GoPro mount. For the front GoPro mount, all we're going to do is simply use a threaded rod and cut it to the size we want. Just remember though, when you're fishing, you want to be able to move your fishing pole and your line around that front GoPro mount so you won't be able to mount it too high. After the threaded rod is cut to size, we simply thread the rod through the front hole which secures the handle to the kayak and we secure that rod with two nuts and two washers. After that, we're going to screw on the GoPro adapter and tighten the third nut up to the adapter to make sure it stays in place. Then we just need to add the frame to our GoPro mount and ensure everything is lined up. Now it's time to mount the battery. For now, this is only going to be a temporary mount. In the near future, I do plan on using spray foam in the stern to help add some buoyancy to the boat. The battery will then be mounted into the foam for a more secure mount. This will hopefully help the kayak from sinking, should it capsize. We'll find out and I'll post a video of this project in the future. As for the battery, I'm going to use a 12 volt, 3 amp hour battery I purchased on eBay for $15.99 and it's going to be sealed in a simple Rubbermaid container. For now, I'll be mounting the battery using Velcro, and like I said, it's only a temporary mount. Now that the lights and the GoPro mount are added, it's time to add a little personalization before we add the deck rigging, which will hold our deck bag. Okay, so now we're going to add a simple deck rigging which will run a straight line across the front of the kayak. This will be used to help secure our deck bag which will hold our fishing gear. We simply drill two holes on each side of the kayak and rivet the eyelets down. Now we can attach our deck bag and finish our decals, test the lighting, and then we're ready for the water. Okay, time to test the lights. Baiting light, working good. The exterior lights are working good as well. Unfortunately, you don't want to have these on unless you have the fish hooked on because the bugs are a son of a bitch. 